Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter while working with multi-language files. Our viewer is curious about whether it's possible to achieve syntax highlighting for both Markdown and Perl in Atom. Let's explore this interesting challenge together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. To enable multi-language syntax highlighting in Atom, we first need to install the necessary packages. Let's start by opening Atom. Next, we will install the, the Language Markdown and Language Perl packages. Go to the settings by clicking on File and then Settings. After installing the packages, we need to configure Atom to recognize both Markdown and Perl syntax in the same file. Open your Markdown file that contains Perl code. Now, to enable syntax highlighting for Perl within your Markdown file, you can use code fences. Wrap your Perl code with triple backticks followed by Perl. Finally, save your file and you should see syntax highlighting for both Markdown and Perl. This allows you to work seamlessly with both languages in Atom. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can achieve multi-language syntax highlighting in Atom, but it's not perfect. It requires manual editing of language packages. For example, you can modify the language CoffeeScript package to include JavaScript syntax highlighting within backticks. Check out a detailed post on discuss.atom.io for more information on this process. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.